Hey guys, Tom here from the Indie Nexus and welcome to another video. Today I'm just going to be going through a couple of levels in Bad North and um, for those of you who don't know what Bad North is, Bad North is a game which has just released on the Nintendo Switch and it is essentially a, uh, a roguelite RTS game and um, it's one of my favourite games on the Switch already, I'm going to be honest, I think already after a couple of days I've got around six hours in, so I know I know what I'm talking about when I play this game. It's just what I want to kind of reinforce. You know, I, I'm not acting like I'm a, you know, like I'm an expert on it. But I have played quite a bit, so I have a really good idea of how the game works and how it functions. For example, now um, I am going to be doing a full series of the game because it's so good that I want to. Basically, that's the reasoning for it. But um, I just wanted to get a bit of gameplay out and kind of talk with you about how it essentially works. So what you have with Bad North is a, uh, it's essentially, uh, like I said, a real-time strategy game with some roguelike elements. So for example, I'm trying to think, so for example, every time you lose on a run, the entire team that you have dies and... Um, I'm just thinking right now. So you have different classes of uh, of like characters. So you have a uh, swordsman, which is the orange team coming in right now, my orange squad. You also have naturally you have archers, who I actually had an archer in the last um, island that I invaded, but I unfortunately died. He died, so uh, I haven't got my archer anymore. So uh, yeah, you can kind of see if you lose a hero, you lose them forever, and you have to like kind of rebuild them. You have to like rebuild with a new hero. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to move this team over here. And the archers are the, are the most annoying set because uh, they're just really, they're just really dangerous. Right, let's call some reinforcements in. Okay, we've lost the house already. So the difficulty is really ramping up at the stage I'm at now, and uh, I'm just going to kind of play through it. And uh, like I said, I want to do a full series. It's a roguelike, so there's lots of progression to be made, and it's just a really, it's a really fun game to be honest. Um, it's available right now. Like I said, it's quite cheap. I think for what you get, I think it's actually a really cheap game. Here, okay, that guy gone, and then we're gonna go. They're not doing anything, so we're gonna go. And uh, I do know we're gonna go take this guy on real quick. And you kind of have to defend all these mini islands from Viking invaders. I think it's Vikings anyway. And um, you know, it's <clears throat> it's like I said, the difficulty gets to a point where it really starts to amp up, and um, that's happening right now, which is why I, it's a pretty bit bad time actually to start talking about the game while I play it because uh, I'm really having to concentrate. Okay, let's get the orange team. One of my favourite things about Bad North is that um, it's actually fully compatible with the touchscreen, which is great. Like I've been playing it quite a bit, just sat with the touchscreen, and it's it feels so good. It feels so responsive. Which is great to see, and I think this is the last unit coming in right now. But um, it's a really, really, really fun game, and I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just going to go for a few little bits and bobs. So um, this game is very heavy, obviously, because it's a strategy game. You really have to kind of think about what you're doing with your team. So as you can see right here, if we just pause it now, uh, I, as you can see from how I've got it set up, we've kind of got this choke point created with two teams of pikes which basically stops anyone but archers getting through which will allow us to pretty much just stop like, anyone getting through so you see this the, like, invader here is trying to get up but both teams of pikes are just going to be able to shove them off and there we get the victory but I had a bit of trouble with this one because of the archers now and okay so at the end of a run this is all very impromptu so I'll probably just like kind of glaze over a few bits and bobs but at the end of a run you get a certain amount of coins depending on how many houses you've defended and then you assign those coins to your heroes and then you can upgrade them in this menu here. So let me just show you the menu. So you've got like these kind of skill trees with them. So you know I could get that if I wanted to. I don't at the moment. I'm saving up to just fully upgrade these guys. Boom, you get like skill trees. So it's very like kind of, you know, those uh, RPG element kind of things. Anyway, we're going to go on to our next turn. And as you can see, these islands are all procedurally generated. Managed to say that, nailed it. And um, yeah, essentially you just have to work through it and defend them. Now, I haven't actually managed to beat it yet. I think the best I've got is about halfway through, which took me about 30, 40 minutes. So as you can tell, it's a very kind of a... It's a game that's very, 
very, very long if you're really into that kind of thing, which I think if you're not into roguelikes in any form, this is alright because it's not really like a traditional roguelike. It's very, uh, okay, so we've got coming in, we have got, okay, all Viking, all shields, okay. So see what we can do here, they're obviously going to come land here so we can create a choke point like that so now they will not be able to get up here because we've got two sets of pipes but um you know it's very it's like 90 percent strategy 10 percent rogue the only real rogue elements are the fact that when you all of your team die you restart a run so there is permadeath and also um like i said it's randomly generated each island and each run is randomly generated so different islands will have different items every time which uh it kind of for me it really makes the strategy game great because i love like kind of tower defense strategy games but when you finish them you unless you like really um like someone who's committed to you know make sure you get maximum ranks and stuff there's not a lot else you can really do with them all right so we're going to move these guys over here just in case this uh this bottom boat our team over here is unable to take out the bottom boat and we're actually I'm a bit concerned actually about this team, so we're going to put them into recovery and kind of uh, sort them out. But yeah, we've got the team heading up over here. Going to let our orange team loose into the action, so we're going to let them go crazy over here. Oh, they are kicking our ass a bit. How many have we got? Oh my god, we've only got one right? Oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Right, where are they going to be going? Oh no, we're gonna have to uh gonna have to go over here. Okay now we've got this team coming in. And we're gonna set them up right there. Oh god, okay. This is turning into a bit of a nightmare now. Okay, can we Can we do something about okay we're gonna Hang on. Let me get them dead and we're gonna bring this team down here to try and take them out oh this is not a good situation to be in right now I need someone just to hit him get him gone All right oh no we've lost two teams I think this actually could be the end of our run right here which is a uh, really really bad oh no I think this is actually gonna be the end of our run well, now you've seen what the end of a run looks like. I have literally been going for like ages before I turned onto this one. And uh, now I die. But anyway, you can see, so game over. So at, at the end of the screen, you'll kind of see how far you got in. So we did 46%, which is actually less than we did last time. I thought it was doing really well. But yeah, and then you start over. You, you know, you begin a new game and then that's it. You go right from the beginning. So we'll start a new game now, just so I can show you what it looks like right at the start. It kind of really increases in complexity quite well. At the start you have a very, very, very simple, uh, you know, you have a simple team, you have simple islands to defend and it's very kind of easy. But um, the progression kind of comes from, you know, you'll have more areas where enemies can attack from, you'll have more enemies and they'll have greater variety. So those guys with the longer shields on the last one, initially you only have really small shields or no shields at all. So as you can see now, this is like a setup we have. So at the start you get two teams, so we have Nola and Lucan, and then you know it's very simple, so we'll just set up um you know very early on you can literally just put people right on the edge of the island and then they'll just kill them. It's really easy. So we'll let them come in. The one thing I one of the things I would really like, I wish there was a way to like fast forward these areas because they're really easy once you get a couple of runs in. So as you can see now we'll just like really easily kill them because all we need to do is just move teams over and it's pretty simple but um I mean I see some people uh, have been asking about this which is why I wanted to kind of like do something before I moved on to an actual main series of it um, I am reviewing the game in the, I'm in the process of reviewing it, I've just started writing a review and there'll be both a video and a, uh, and a written version of that review before the end of the week the, uh, the latest but um, you know I think right now if you want a, if you just want a basic opinion I'd say definitely pick up this game if you're partial to uh, real time strategy games because I think it's a really good take on the genre I don't think there's too many games like this on the Switch you know I think stuff like Wargroove is what a lot of people are waiting for but if that's something that you're interested in I'd say pick this game up it's very cheap 
it's very cheap there's some decent progression in it there is a lot I think there's a lot of variety I know some people will probably get bored of it really quickly and that's fair enough but a game like this for me is uh, you know like I said at the beginning it's a pretty bold statement to say but I think it's true this is probably in my opinion one of the best games on the switch and I say that lightly because as someone who reviews games I've played a lot of really good games and I've played some bad games and I've only played six hours of this so I can't I mean that's one of the issues there there's 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 some frame rate issues at times which is probably the biggest problem I have with this game to be fair um, yeah, you know, some I've seen some people say lack of modes is an issue. That's of course a potential problem. You know, I I'd imagine the developers will be adding stuff post content for this because I think it's a game which can be built. You know, there could be an attack mode, for example, where you're literally doing the opposite thing, and I think that would be amazing. You know, it's it's pretty much in the game. You know, it's very easy to do. But um, as a call like kind of defense. Seen some people say tower defense as well. It's got a lot of genres in it. Uh, as someone who's seen, uh, as someone who's played a lot of tower defense strategy, you know, games, those kind of things, and who loves rogue games, um, I don't think I could have had a more perfect game. You know, tower defense games are one of my favorite genres. Um, just not necessarily on the Switch because there aren't that many good ones on the Switch. But you know, in general, I love tower defense games and I love strategy games. So um, this game is perfect. And I think, you know, the art style, I mean, you look at the art style, the art style is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a screenshot there, because this game is stunning, it's gorgeous. But, um, yeah, I don't really have that much else to say, I'm just going to kind of, like I said, there is an issue, I think, at the start of a game, it's quite boring once you really get into it. But once you can start grading, you know, kind of defending, you know, kind of launching these little initiatives you have to defend, you know, placing people in certain positions to create choke points, like I showed at the start. Um, it's a very very fun game and you know this was a game that when it was announced to be coming to switch I was so excited to play it and uh, you know it, if you can ask anyone who like who I work with and uh, they will tell you like how excited I've been for this game I literally when I saw it drop like during the direct uh, during the highlights I was like holy get that game get that game in my switch right now because it's so 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 good and I'm glad that the faith I put in it actually paid off and uh, okay I'm trying to think now we'll do one more we'll do one more island we've got bump island bump coming up and I, I forgot to upgrade my team I just realized never mind we'll do it after this one so what's gonna be coming up now so if you look here we haven't got too many points we've got to defend this bottom right side but they're not gonna be coming from there are they uh, where are they gonna end up I don't think so. Actually, let me have a look. Oh yeah, they're on. They're going to be going there. I'll yeah, we'll just leave this team here. To be honest, actually, we'll move them across as well. Oh yeah, when this game was like announced and coming out, I was so excited. And uh, I mean, if you've seen anything on Twitter, most of the tweets about this game have been me. You know, 100%. I've been so excited for this one, and uh, you know, I'm going to be playing this game for so long because it's already just one of my favourites by so so much and there's no game lights on the switch so I would 100% recommend this one like I said I am going to be doing a full okay they're going to be on that side I am going to be doing a full like kind of playthrough of the game um which is always tricky with rogue games it's like where do you kind of stop and start but um okay are you are we still going over there no we're not going over there anymore okay let's just go here and then we've got a team coming there. But yeah, I just kind of want to play the game a lot. And, you know, I might as well put some of that, you know, for other people to see. Because I think it's a great game, you know. It's even fun to watch, to be fair. I've watched some people play it just to kind of see some different strategies and stuff. And, you know, I think it's such a great game. And you can really kind of appreciate it even watching it. So I hope you look forward to that. That'll be coming in, uh, that'll be coming in the coming days. I'll hopefully like to get some of that alongside a review. You know, the channel's pretty much just going to be Bad Noir from now on. For me, it's just going to be like, oh, hey, we're back again and we're playing Bad Noir. But anyway, we'll, we'll finish off this island and then we'll uh, we'll get things done for today. I think that's the last guy. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of, like, preview, gameplay, rambling thing about Bad Noir. Uh, if you have, be sure to leave a like. And we found a Warhorn. You can find items and they're, they're pretty cool. 
Um, if you have, be sure to uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed this kind of video. If uh, you got any suggestions for how we'd like this format to change, 100% uh, let let me know. Let us know. You know, tweet us, put it in the comments. Just let us know anything that you want us to do. If there's any types of content in particular you'd like to see, like I said, let us know, and we can do it. Okay, we're gonna give him that. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to us over at Nindy Nexus. Be sure to check out the site for Bad North and other indie content. My name is Tom, also known as the X3 Project. Peace out.